Hi everyone, thanks for tuning into my channel, Hub Hildenbrand Guitar Academia. Today we have a kind of a fun lesson, which is actually no fun at all. But anyway, you find the PDF down in the description below and you should really download it um, because <clears throat> what I will play for you today, it's all written, uh, written there and it also helps to support my channel, of course. We are talking about the C major triad. So how boring and simple and uh, whatever this, this will be, this lesson, you think. But actually, this lesson is like a real challenge and uh, there is a, it's a kind of a byproduct, um, which is, I think, <laughs> quite, uh, quite uh, important sometimes, maybe, I don't know. Um, it is like a pill. Today's lesson is like a pill. It's like a pill. If you're feeling really great, you are so great. You're so such a great musician. You know, so whatever. Take this pill to calm down because this will be like a, a challenge. And um, this is really like a, a, a lesson in humility and uh, that you should always feel when you when you when you're busy with music when you practice and when you go on in this in, in in music when you deal with music this endless world this endless ocean of music you have to uh, in a way you have to know um, or also to to acknowledge the fact that you're always a beginner there is so much to learn, so much to, to, to know, so much to, to do and uh, it's, it's like it's endless and it's also evolving constantly. Yeah? It's not like music is like finished, that's it. And now you, you take certain parts, now it's constantly evolving, like instruments are changing. Uh, new musicians come up, have new ideas, have new techniques, combine certain kinds of music, uh, explore new uh, intonations, whatever. It's, it's like an endless field. And um, <clears throat> the way we, we are approaching this now here, to, that you really learn that, is actually by doing some, some, some very, very, very simple thing. We just take the C major triad, C, E, G, the most basic chord there is, maybe. And we just find out all possibilities how we can play that chord um, as a four note structure. So we just double one note. That's all we do. We take C, E, G, for example, C, E, G. And then we double one note. In this case, we take the C, for example, and double it. And double, when I say double, I mean like, like we, we play it an octave higher or lower or even two octaves higher or lower. I once, or not, actually, yeah, it, it happened one, one time, really one, one time. Um, I was teaching a, a, a small, um, a, like a, a, a child and she, she won, when we, talked about like we had like uh, yeah like a like an e major um chord and an uh, a minor chord and maybe two two or, or three more and then she 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 really wanted to know she asked me uh, how many chords are there how many chords uh, do i have to learn i mean when when i'm done and um it will take really some time, <laughs> some 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 practice, some 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 way along the journey. That it's it's uh, it's just yeah. There are just so many possible possible chords, so many possibilities, and um, <clears throat> it's not endless. Of course, it's not endless because the fretboard is not endless. So the, the possibilities are not endless, but there are so many that it's actually not, not a good, uh, good, good plan to, to learn them by heart, to start to, to learn the shapes by heart. I think the, 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 most, the, the most practical and usable approach to, to, to learn uh, 
all this material or learn more of that stuff is to learn the notes on the guitar because once you know where your C is, where your G is, where your E is and so on, you can, you can make up these chords um, very quickly and uh, you, can, you can just make all kinds of combinations and that's why it's so important to really learn the notes on the instrument and not shapes and not like, like, like these, 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 these ways of, okay, when I know my G here, I know a G we have here, a G and there a G. That is much too slow, you know, when you really want to want to play and improvise and, and like sing quick in this uh, in music. You, you yeah, you there is no way around it. You have to learn all the notes on the fretboard. OK, when we when we have these these when we double one note, when we play one note uh, twice uh, in, in uh, with a distance of an octave or two octaves, we come up with 60 different possibilities of playing C major. And they are all written there and I will just go through them. I will, I will do that. And um, they are also like, this is a systematic uh, thing as, as always on this channel. Um, what, what we have, we always have these, uh, these the first is root position, the C is in the bass, the next is, um, no, actually that's not true. That's not the, the arrangement of the notes, of the, of the chords here. Um, we, have, we have root position and the, the two inversions. So we always have three different uh, forms there, three different voicings. And the, the arrangement here is the first form of, of, of these three, the first voicing there, the root, the C is doubled. Then on the second, the, the E is doubled, and on the third, the G, the fifth, is, is doubled. Yeah, so that's a, that's a kind of a um, systematic order here of all these, these um, forms. And these are all forms which are possible. Of course, some you can play in, on different set of strings also, and in different octaves, so, but I will not, so there are actually more, <laughs> but I will not uh, consider them now. I will just consider the plain arrangement of, uh, of notes. Okay, so we have the first, it's C major, of course. The next would be, the next would be, yeah. then the next forms we have. We also have a tuner, which is also helpful sometimes. Of course, I, I do not really expect this C major to sound extremely good because the tuning, the equal temperament we use on the piano also, and all our instruments here in the West um, is not perfect for intonation, especially for major thirds here. That's, but anyway, that's a different story. So let's take the second um, measure. Um, same kind of but they are all different voicings and and now I'm, I'm, I'm the order I will play these chords now I start with the lowest with the lowest form so now in the second bar and second line I start with this low G here and then I go to my um, C here and I go to that okay, next would be um, And 
by the way, um, you, um, for example, you will need um, these kind of forms where you double a, um, a, a note of a, of, a, of a major minor or whatever, try it to have like these, these kind of um, like, like four, four part um, harmony, these four part voice leading, what, what you're doing <coughs> German, it's called like vierstimmiger Satz, is like um, four, um, four part, um, yeah, four part writing, um, what is like kind of the basis of, of, um, of theory of how to connect chords um, in, in classical music. Mostly, it's 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 sort in in like like four four voices. Also, like the typical choir has like four voices, and that's like you need four voices for for um, to express most of the chords and functions. Of course, our our concept is a bit different here on Guitar Academia because we think about guitar, and I I I, I like particular. I I, I go for more for three note structures. So I'm, I'm thinking a lot of, about um, how to reduce chords actually to just three voices. That's a, that's a different story. Just, just, uh, just this information for, for some stuff, um, voice leading with four note structures, for example, and you wanna have a, suddenly you wanna have just a triad, maybe to end a piece or whatever, you, 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 will, you will need um, these kind of voicings where you double one note to make a, a four note structure out of a three note structure. Yes, um, all right, um, so, uh, forgot where we were I don't know like I, I go on with a third line um, second bar so the lowest and there we have the octave in the middle now we have the next is e. I use an open string here actually these all these these chords um, are are the, the um, they actually all playable versions which with without need need to to use open strings or harmonics because when you when you start to go into that um, field where you have open strings and harmonics also possible in your your chords there are actually a, a lot more possibilities would, would, would show up. So we want to want to um, we want to just think about what is possible um, without open strings and uh, harmonics, so that we find that we have like um, the the voicings, which we which we can transpose to any key. Yeah, that's that's the idea. And that of course that has an has an open string here, but we can also play it. Um, like for example, for D flat major, we can use the same voicing. So the voicing itself is not depending on having an open string there. Okay, so that's, that's one chord, that's another. And then the C thing here. All right, nice sounds actually. Then I, that, that's actually something I, I the next I, I really like to have the, the octave in the high two voices. There's a whole arrangement of a, of a folk song, um, Der Mond, no, no, is it? Uh, Abend wird es wieder. Uh, it's a German folk song and I put out a, a lesson um, where I sh showed you my like chord melody arrangement of that. And I, I, used, I used a lot of these. a lot of these 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 kind of um, um, four note voicings of three part structures just basic triads actually so again uh, that's one that's the next and that's the next okay um, then we have this one oops this one challenging uh, then we have next fourth measure fourth line especially for for the right hand technique because I'm using always this um, plectrum with my also using the um, little finger 
So to have a good sound there needs also some practice. No, that's wrong. challenging and uh, then I we have that Third measure, fifth line, <clears throat> the lowest would be that. And that. It's like close position in the in the low three strings. And then <clears throat> high up the octave of the octave of the lowest note. Okay, so first first measure in the sixth line we have this one. It's a little bit like like um, like a fitness center here. It's like exercises for your muscles. <laughs> yeah, we get like really like. It's like bodybuilding. Um, okay, then next would be this one. And then we have this one. Mm -hmm. Second measure, sixth line. there that's also possible as I said with op without open strings it's just nice actually here it's a nice nice chord easy it's easy and then we have this one and we have this one so last line we go to the lower one And the next measure, second measure, last line, seventh line. It's um, just like um, we start from C. We have um, that one. So like a um, close position. Try it with a low root, and then we go to that one. And of course, we can also play it here. The next is not possible. If, if I would play the, the next one, it's like I have to play this uh, close position triad here. And yeah, then I, I, need, I would need my, my, my left hand for that, which is also a technique, uh, which, <laughs> which will, if you use this technique, 
if you decided uh, to to use that you you have to learn more actually yeah a lot lot of lot more possibilities then um good luck uh so in the last we come to the last and there um these two first chords are not playable um but the last one it's just this one all right you see there are a lot of possibilities they're all actually the same the same notes c e g one note doubled and i think you 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 see what, what i what i meant when when i i said here yeah, just learning these shapes you know just memorize shapes uh, will definitely make make it possible that you uh, yeah you, you have a certain repertoire which you really know and um, always play and so on but um to 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 play more of these possibilities and of course it happens it, it can uh, happen in, in the context that you you have some voice leading that you go from one chord and then you think oh now i have to go to i want to go to 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 c major you know for example um, and then you have to think okay uh, what what kind of how uh, where is it c major chord in this area when i do this kind of a voice leading and then some sometimes you yeah you just come up with these kind of chords you know if you have voice leading and you have four note structures and then suddenly you have a three note structure then you have um, yeah then you need uh, these triads these three note structures which which have a note doubled to, to stay in the same kind of texture so on the guitar, really, if you want to want to go more far with that instrument, if you really want to want to, yeah, learn that. I mean, as I said, you're always a beginner. <laughs> it's never, never done, never ever. Um, but the the idea is really to to learn the the notes on the fretboard to be really. You know that this is a C. You know you have all these C's or E's, and you. You're 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 able if you see like okay I can play G and C so what 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 note is is missing for a C major triad E oh okay E I can play E here I can play E here I can play E here or I can play that different and play E here whatever or I can have a harmonic there because I know this is a harmonic or I can you know it's all all the same the same it's just a C major triad but because I I know uh, these these different uh, uh, ways where I can play like every note it's um, yeah you can I can I can make up these chords uh, just uh, very quick you know so um, sometimes uh, or often it's just uh, when I when I do comping you know for, for, for somebody and I maybe use just just an interval or just three note structures it's actually quite possible to 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 go through these these structures by 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 thinking uh, what notes I, do I need what 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 note is moving to the next and 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 in a way like 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 really go into this unfamiliar territory where I I do not really know what kind of <clears throat> shape will come because I'm not thinking in, in shapes but anyway that's a complete different story it's. Uh, <laughs> Um, just this, this, this to sum up this lesson it's really you have like a lot of possibilities and just a, a, a simple thing as like just a C major triad doesn't mean if it's if that is simple a simple structure a small simple structure doesn't mean that it it will not challenge you <laughs> as a as a as a guitarist especially i think it's there's like so many possibilities of playing the same notes and and the whole the whole arrangement of 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 these of the, the tuning of these six strings and and so on it's quite a challenging thing and you have you have really a lot of possibilities to just play the same the same thing of 
course, it's the same on the piano, but but you, it's it's much more easy to to see the notes, you know. And then you say, okay, I I do not use this G, I use this G, and then it's actually the rest stays just the same. But with four notes, you also very often you need all four four fingers, and then just changing one note will lead to a complete different. Uh, fingering and will mess up your whole like visual visual um, concept so um, yeah so that's it for the for the lesson it would be actually really cool um, to to hear from you like in the comment field down below what what you what you maybe learn from from that or what 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 what's your thoughts about the whole thing here um, uh, yeah, so if you like these lessons here on Guitar Academia, please uh, subscribe to my channel and click the bell button. There you get notifications if a new video will be uploaded or released and this will be the case every week. Also, there's a possibility to donate. Just follow the link down in the description below to my website, Guitar Academia site of hupildenbrand.com which is my website, and there you find a button where you can also donate. To support this channel here it would be really cool if you get more involved and we will proceed with this whole uh, thing. And there's a lot of, lot of, lot of topics still to, which really want to go out into the world and make you happy. <laughs> okay, so that's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. My name is... Hoop Hildenbrand.